Hello, people. Uh, you're about to get a massive info dump because I'm going to sub off a lot of the things that we haven't been able to vlog because we've been very busy or have just been very tired and we understand that like people are like, oh, why didn't you show it to us? We try, we really do. So I'm just going to give you a big info dump. That was just my mouth, I don't know why I filmed that. Um, so. First things, Charlie went on Sarah's hen do, which um, she probably was talking about prior. She, I picked her up at, I think she got back in about half eleven at night, which is fun. Um, I amused myself by playing Deathloop, which I'm only about an hour or so in, um, just finding the time to play it. Um, and it's good, it's, it's, it's different than what I thought it was going to be, but I am enjoying it. Uh, I've been bouncing between that and Forza Horizon 4 because why not? <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I've had a very productive day today. I have rearranged my entire drawers um, because it just needed doing clothes are just stacking on top of clothes and I, and I like to mix it up because I like to mix up my clothes. Hence, fourth, I'm wearing my Raccoon City Police Department shirt that I haven't worn in a while because just it's been at the bottom of the drawer. So I've done that. Um, I know to some people that might not seem productive, but to me it is. Um, I've rearranged mine and Charles. Um, probably see it there. We've got like dressing gowns and hoodies and stuff. Also, I'm not going to get. I'm not going to pull them off the hook because it will just be a farce. I got. Um, I went to Primark the other day, and they had. Um, they're called Snuggies or Snuddies. Um, it, they're basically like the Uddies, the big, um, long uh, jumper blanket thing with a hood and sleeves. Um, I've, I've looked at getting Char one of me before, but it's just, they're very expensive because they're branded or, or something. So Primark are doing them for um, 14 quid a piece, which to some people might be like, mm, it's a bit pricey. They're really comfy, they're really thick, they're really warm, and when it's getting into the winter and, you know, lazy mornings, it's just, it, it's nice to just put it on over pyjamas and just feel like you're just walking around in a blanket. So, highly recommend that. Um, I then changed our bed, and <laughs> yes, it is September, however, this is our Halloween Mickey I don't know how much of the last thing was saved, um, but yeah, love that, and I'm not even in focus. That's better. So yeah, like I said, I don't know how much was saved of the last one before the camera died. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, we had our bedding. Um, Charlie's currently putting away washing. I'm playing Batman Arkham Knight uh, on the Xbox, because... Why not? Um, what have we done? Oh, we saw um, so we saw Shang Chi the other day. Uh, not bad, pretty good Marvel film. Would recommend to those who are sort of having doubts. Not perfect, but pretty good. Pretty pretty darn good. Um, watched the Quiet Place Part Two because we missed that in cinemas, so we watched that. That was. Okay, as a big fan of the first Quiet Place, it was good. Um, but it's... I feel like it's going for a trilogy. Well, it is going for a trilogy because part three's already been confirmed. Um, but... <sighs> I think it's like... It'll be the new... It'll be like the new Halloweens. Like, Halloween 2018 kills and then soon ends. Obviously I don't know how good Halloween Kills is, but here's hoping it's amazing. But, uh, it's trying to do the flowing story, which is great. It's really good. However, it's... It, it's one of those where, like, the middle part... It's like Back to the Future. The, the Back to the Future thing, where part one was great. Part two, whilst good, like, is just the interim 
before the final one. Now, it's not to say it's a bad film. If you if you want to see it, see it. It is worth seeing. There are very tense moments, and a lot of parts where like you, you're sort of gasping because you, you're in shock, and it's very good. But I think if I, I, th I I'm, I'm more thinking it's the case of when I have it as a trilogy. So obviously quite a place one, two, and three, and it's just this flowing story. I feel like that would be a lot easier to take in and enjoy than Quiet Place Part 1 coming out, Quiet Place Part 2, waiting for, like watching that and then waiting for Part 3. I mean, I like I said, I use Back to the Future as an example, but I wasn't born when they came out. I still don't think I was. No, I wouldn't have been. Um, so I didn't have to wait for that. So... That's probably what people are experiencing now, but like I said, with Halloween, you know, let's not make any judgment till it's a finished trilogy. Uh, so there's that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, ooh, we started new sex education, and just <laughs> can can Adam? This <laughs> this is one of those things that ages terribly. Can Adam and Eric just? Be happy. It just, just give them all the happiness. That's all we ask. That's all we want. Do not screw this up. Because <laughs> we love Adam now. And the fact that he's trying to better himself from, like, the dick he was in Series 1. Just, it makes me happy. Um, but yeah, we need to, we, we've got that to watch. Um, Bake Off starts tonight. Exciting, exciting. Also, I'm trying... Me and Charlie are, start, are going to start Supernatural. Now, I've had a lot of friends who have watched Supernatural say it's very good. I've seen a lot of fandom things that say it's very good. Anybody who wants to comment who's watched it and say, oh no, it is very good, please do. Uh, don't spoil anything though, because that's just a dick move. But we're going to watch it. We've ordered season one on Blu-ray to watch and then we'll get subsequent seasons when we've watched it and saved enough money to get it. But we're going to do that. And maybe it might be our next binge worth show. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, hope everyone's alright and we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little tubes. Oh, hello. <laughs> Niffler. Oh, Niff, you smell. No. Oh. Smells so like rotten. We'll have to give him a clean later. Oh, what's that? Another bath. <laughs>
glue vlog. It's uh, I think this might be the actual first time I've spoken to the vlog all week, which is mad. Um, it's been an exciting week, hasn't it, darling? That's a way of putting it. <laughs> it's been a very eventful week. Um, so on was it? Oh my god, was it Monday we went to see? Everybody's talking about Jamie. Yes. And then on Wednesday and Thursday we were at gigs, so we went to see um, Chugaboom and Defences, the city has ours, and our hollow our home. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday. yesterday we went to see Bring Me the Horizon which you would have seen some clips of, just. Um, they were amazing, they were so good. It's the first time I've seen them, you've seen them... A few times. A few times before. On the Sempaternal, um, I saw them Sempaternal, That's the Spirit and the Ammo release tours. Mm. So yeah, we went to see them on the post-human survival horror That's tour. Got it right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, they, they were amazing, um, really, really, really good, loved them. Um, we've both been at work today, although you ended up coming home early, didn't you? That's a migraine. Dan had a migraine and was sick, um, so yeah, he's been at home. He's, he was literally asleep from... What time did you get home? Half About three. Three o'clock? Half three? Half three. Um, until I got home from work at half past seven. So, you obviously needed the sleep. Sleep. I'll be feeling a bit better now, aren't you? Yeah. Had some dinner. Um, I have some very exciting news. I say I, we have some very exciting news because you've helped me a lot with it. Um, today I officially launched my production company. Um, which is a film and theatre production company and it's called Cat on the Wall Productions. Um, Dan actually came up with the name because everything I could think of that I wanted was um, was actually taken. So Cat on the Wall was a uh, you. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Um, if you search for Cat on the Wall Productions, I'm sure it'll come up. But I'll do all the links and stuff in the description below. If you'd like to go and follow us, that would be awesome. Um, the first production that's going to be on our slate is going to be Good Grief. Which you guys know that I've been working on. Um, but yeah, it's officially in association um, on Good Grief for Cat on the Wall. So that's good. It's a really exciting first project to have on the slate. Um, but yes, I thought with Good Grief and um, I've got a couple of other like producey things coming up um, and obviously doing the BFI course that I'm doing, I thought it was about time to shut up my production company, mm. which is exciting. Um, my lovely friend Laura has done the... Um, the artwork for it so um, she's actually bless her she's managed to design my logo just before she's moving house um, so the logo's up but there's going to be some other fun things for my socials and stuff um, once that package is all designed mm -hmm. but yeah it's been a it's been a a good week a busy week but I think we're we're just going to take the rest of the evening to chill out. Dan's playing Batman Arkham City. Night. Arkham Night. Um, and I'm just going to sit in here and chill. Because I'm very tired. Because um, we got home a little bit late last night after the gig. Um, a little bit late. Ridiculously late. Ridiculously late because there was traffic and stuff getting back. But yeah, it's been a good week. Apart from the uh, the petrol nonsense that's been going on. 
If you're one of these people that's been hoarding petrol and filling up cans and cans of petrol, you should be ashamed of yourself. Get a reality check. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Get a grip. Um, <laughs> and on that note, we're going to go and chill. But um, anything to add? No. Yeah. Yeah, hope everyone's had a lovely week. We've had a great one, although we're both knackered now. Um, so yeah, we will see you guys next week. Say goodbye to the vlog, darling. Goodbye. <laughs> you didn't even look at it. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.